Did early giant humans eat Neanderthals to survive? Welcome to Prehistoric Horizons. Today we're diving into one of the most shocking and controversial theories in human prehistory. Did early giant humans actually eat their Neanderthal cousins to survive? Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but the evidence might surprise you. Stay with me as we explore the science, the fossils, and the chilling truth behind early human survival. Imagine a world 50,000 years ago. Ice Age Europe was a harsh and unforgiving environment. Early humans and Neanderthals coexisted, struggling to find food, shelter, and safety in a brutal landscape. With limited resources, survival depended on intelligence, adaptability, and sometimes sheer desperation. Neanderthals were tough, stocky, and built for endurance. They were expert hunters, capable of taking down large game with spears and coordinated tactics. But early modern humans, Homo sapiens, were different. They had better tools, larger social groups, and importantly, an uncanny ability to adapt. Now here's where things take a dark turn. Archaeological evidence suggests that when food was scarce, some human groups resorted to a shocking survival strategy, cannibalism. But could it be possible that Neanderthals themselves were on the menu? There's solid evidence of human cannibalism from multiple prehistoric sites. At Krapina in Croatia, Neanderthal bones have been found with clear signs of butchery, cut marks, fractures from marrow extraction, and even evidence of cooking. Similar findings have been discovered in Gov's cave in England, where ancient bones appear to have been defleshed and processed in a way disturbingly similar to how animals were prepared for consumption. The big question is, was this a desperate survival strategy, a ritualistic practice, or something even more chilling, a form of prehistoric warfare where humans literally consumed their enemies? To add another layer to this mystery, some researchers speculate that early Homo sapiens were significantly taller and stronger than their Neanderthal counterparts. While the idea of literal giant humans is mostly a myth, it's true that early Homo sapiens from some regions were relatively tall, reaching heights of six feet or more, towering over the average Neanderthal, who stood around 5'5". Five, five. While the idea of literal giant humans is mostly a myth, it's true that early Homo sapiens from some regions were relatively tall, reaching heights of six feet or more, towering over the average Neanderthal, who stood around 5'5". Five, five. While the idea of literal giant humans is mostly a myth, it's true that early Homo sapiens from some regions were relatively tall, reaching heights of six feet or more, towering over the average Neanderthal, who stood around 5'5". Five, five. With this size advantage, it's possible that early humans dominated Neanderthals both physically and strategically. If food was scarce and rival groups posed a threat, could early humans have turned to cannibalism as both a survival tool and a way to eliminate competition? Some theories suggest that consuming rivals could have been seen as a way to gain strength from their enemies, similar to practices observed in some indigenous cultures centuries later. Imagine the psychological impact of such a strategy. If one group of early humans believed that consuming their enemies made them stronger, it could have solidified their dominance over time. But could this explain the disappearance of Neanderthals? So what does modern science say about this theory? Archaeological finds confirm that both Neanderthals and early humans practiced cannibalism under certain conditions. The reasons remain debated, whether due to necessity, warfare, or ritual, Neanderthals disappeared around 40,000 years ago, and while multiple factors played a role – climate change, competition, interbreeding – there's no definitive proof that early humans hunted and ate them to extinction. However, it is possible that constant resource competition, occasional violent encounters, and even cases of cannibalism contributed to their decline. Studies show that modern humans carry Neanderthal DNA, meaning some level of interaction, including interbreeding, occurred. But whether this included large-scale violence and cannibalism remains speculative. 
One particularly fascinating aspect of this discussion is the role of culture and adaptability. Early humans developed larger social networks, more advanced tools, and the ability to trade and cooperate on a larger scale. Neanderthals, despite their strength and intelligence, may have struggled to adapt as quickly. If Homo sapiens used superior strategies, whether through cooperation, warfare, or even extreme survival tactics like cannibalism, it could have given them the upper hand in the battle for survival. The idea that early humans might have eaten Neanderthals is both fascinating and disturbing. While we may never have definitive proof, the archaeological evidence suggests that survival in the Ice Age was brutal, and humans were willing to do whatever it took to stay alive. So, what do you think? Could our ancestors have hunted and consumed their Neanderthal cousins? Was it a matter of survival, or is there another explanation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you love exploring the mysteries of prehistory, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next deep dive into the ancient past. Thanks for watching Prehistoric Horizons. See you next time.